Okay, let's go, everybody. 1032 on a Wednesday evening, getting close enough to the weekend now where we can start to uh, hone in and see what's going to be happening for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to do that in just a moment. Tower cam in Grand Rapids, I do believe, still completely dry. There are some light rain showers in areas of drizzle and sprinkles out to the west and uh, the radar and that's coming up here in just a second as well. Cool temperatures now starting to bleed into the northern states and there is kind of a two pronged approach to this cold front that is working in as we speak. So the coolest of the air will be arriving early tomorrow morning and really throughout the morning and afternoon. Uh, it'll try to be offset by the daily warming process, but uh, the net result is going to be fairly steady numbers, I think, throughout Thursday, which means we'll be sitting around 50 degrees for most hours tomorrow. Right now it's the upper 50s off to the north. You get southward into Kent County, Ottawa, and uh, readings in the mid-60s. We did actually briefly get to 66 in GR, but now starting to trickle back as winds are turning to the west as we speak from west to east across the viewing area with the approach of this cold front hanging on to upper 60s. But uh, it's going to be a while before we get back into the 60s. There are some hints off of uh, a couple of these models that perhaps we could at some point later next week. So despite all this talk of coolness and chilly weather, and we will have it for several days, there is some prospect that uh, some ridging or uh, you know warmer weather can start to build in from the south at some point, say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week. So we're not done with it quite yet. Here's what I'm talking about. Southerly breezes and brisk starting to be countered by a west flow. That's the uh, first part of this two-pronged approach to this cold front. It is working across. These are the winds for tomorrow morning as perhaps you're getting up, heading off to work. A west breeze at about 15 to 25 can even gust to about 30 or 35 at times. And for that reason, we do have waves on Lake Michigan. Got a gale warning, I believe, until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Six to eight feet with those waves starting to build uh, as we speak a bit. But uh, the biggest burst of winds is actually to come in the overnight period due to this area of low pressure working off to the east and there's that second cold front and it's really associated with that one where the winds are going to be picking up there's not a whole lot of moisture with this it looks worse than it actually is on the radar the best batch of showers is going to actually occur to the north of gr and even there it's fairly minor uh, maybe five hundredths of an inch to a tenth of an inch before this sweeps on out a damp overnight though lake enhanced spotty showers tomorrow again a nuisance type of a rain not a big rain producer not a whole lot in the rain gauge by later tomorrow, but damp pavement can be around from time to time and temperatures running in the 50s for most of that seven day. As I say, just off the seven day, it might start to warm up back into the 60s. So cross your fingers on that by next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll see how it plays out. A lot of clouds are going to be around tomorrow. There could be a brief peak of the sun at some point during the morning, but then a couple showers tend to build as we get some lake enhanced activity. There's a general trough of low pressure over the Great Lakes. You pick up some of that moisture off of the lake. The net result is going to be a spotty shower from time to time, and we'll have that through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Will not be a rain out, though. I think the best chance for any bigger system, maybe wider spread rain, something more substantial at some point later Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Temps looking chilly in the lower 50s. All right, Anthony, thank you for that. A doctor in Detroit.